Salaamu Alaikum. Well, as a new Muslim, the, I've talked to many new Muslims, and we all seem to have a similar first stage. The first stage of being a new Muslim is, is arrogance. And I've certainly been very arrogant, especially when I first uh, converted. Um, when you first convert, I noticed that I thought I was uh, like a, I wouldn't say a messenger, but I felt as if it was my duty to give dawah to everyone around me, including my family and, the born, and my born Muslim friends. To my family, I remember uh, the first few days of my conversion, everything they would say that was uh, uh, like against Islam, I would uh, I'd fight them, I'd argue. They weren't necessarily attacking Islam, but for example, if they were talking about like drinking or anything like that, I'd be like, oh, that's not Islamic, you can't do that, and this and that. And I noticed by doing that, arrogance is one, is not a good trait of being a Muslim. And the more arrogant I was becoming, I was, I, especially from one of my born Muslim friends, I remember he told me that I was becoming a religious fanatic. And then I stopped and I analyzed myself and I thought that he, he was right. I was becoming a fanatic because I was being arrogant. And arrogance is not a good trait of a Muslim because I was um, telling people, like telling born Muslims they should pray and they should do this and they should do that, but it's not my duty to do that. And the best example I can give them is by doing it myself. That if they hear that I'm praying five times a day, then maybe they will go pray themselves. But it's not my duty to go tell them to do this or do that. And with my family, actually, I've stopped talking to Islam about them. And uh, it's actually worked because they don't really bother me that much anymore. So only if they ask do I, uh, I talk to them about Islam. A few weekends ago, I actually went to my dad's house and uh, he asked me a lot of questions about Islam and I answered them in a, in a good way. I didn't attack his beliefs in any way. And he, uh, Alhamdulillah, he said that one day he'll attend one of these conferences. He was uh, supposed to come today, but he, uh, he was busy and he had to do something. But inshallah, one day he'll come and um, to learn that Islam is not about terrorism, it's about peace. And uh, hopefully my family one day will accept Islam. So for any uh, new Muslims, the best advice I can give you is uh, don't be arrogant once you convert. Don't be giving dawah to Like only if they ask you, then give dawah. Because by being arrogant, you also shun away people. Like a lot of my uh, born Muslim friends, they didn't really want to speak to me anymore because I'd keep attacking them, saying, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. So I stopped doing that. Alhamdulillah, Allah guided me and I stopped doing it, so I don't do that anymore. And uh, things are getting better with my family because uh, they noticed that I'm becoming a better person because I'm spending a lot more time with my family. Like before, I, I didn't really care to spend any time with my mom or anything. And I know, even though they don't want to admit it, that the change is because of Islam. I remember one day I told my mom something that I never told her before. Because uh, my mom doesn't make a lot of money. And me and my brother were the type of people who would always complain that we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't have this. But one day I told my mom, that I'm very grateful for everything that she has given me. The clothes, my food, and uh, her love. And she ended up in tears because I had never expressed myself that way to her. And I think deep down inside she knows that I do that because of my understanding that as a servant of Allah I have to be grateful for what I have. And I'm very grateful for what I have. Um, and the other day, I also, I also went to, um, I went, I bought dinner for my family. That's something I never did before. I bought them all Popeye's chicken <laughs> on a Saturday night. 
because uh, usually on Saturday the night they eat pork, so I bought them chicken so that they wouldn't eat pork, but don't tell them that. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, I'm very happy with the decision that I made, because that day when I came to the mosque, I was actually only coming just to, j just to learn, because I myself was reading about the religion. But I had no intention on converting because of the problems that I would face with my family, with my friends. But when I came, like the other brother said, you feel loved. Because strangers were approaching me, asking me how I was. And I'd just look at them like, oh, okay. But you feel the love because this is a brotherhood. And I remember once actually a brother I asked, he told me, he's like, are you going to take the Shahada? And I told him, I don't want to take it till I leave my house. And he's like, why? I'm like, well, what if my family rejects me? What if I get kicked out? And he told me something that I'll never forget. He told me that, that, you're, that the family's love is unconditional. And that they should love you whether you convert or not. And then he told me, if they reject you, we'll be your family. We'll take care of you as a Muslim community. And that truly touched me. And when I heard that, I knew that it was the right decision to become a Muslim, to serve God, and to be a part of this brotherhood. Thank you.